I would say that horror uh, in general and most of the movies that you remember are always social and uh, political in a way. The idea is that uh, every movie has to reflect its time. And as soon as the movie has this con consciousness, it's going to be political in a way or another. Yeah, it is the case actually. Um, well, almost, because my first feature was also shot in Morocco, but it's, it was not really a horror. It's more like fantasy. And uh, I made the difference between uh, horror and fantasy. To me, horror is more like bloody and it's more maybe disturbing. This is more like it has something like an 80s vibes, you know, all these ambient picture movies that we used to, to watch when we were kids, you know. And because today... Um, there is a there is much more a difference between movies for kids, movies for grown up, even if it's changing a bit thanks to TV shows like Stranger Things. But uh, yeah, because because some part of the cast is like kids, doesn't mean that it's a movie for kids. It's a creature feature because I grew up watching creature features and. When I was able to make uh, another movie, the idea is like to give back the love that uh, this movie gave, gave to me. So it's a story about childhood mostly. Uh, it's uh, a group of friends of, of kids who used to play in the country in Morocco. And behind, uh, behind a, a, a huge cornfield, there's an old house, abandoned old house that was like the theater of uh, massacres during the French colony in Morocco. And, uh, of course, it's forbidden to go inside of this house because there is a lot of urban legend around it. So, because there are kids, they go inside and wake up something that was asleep during a uh, few years. So, uh, one of them disappears and uh, 20 years later, that, that, that kid that disappears grew up as a savage uh, uh, kid, you know. And uh, he comes back, but he doesn't come back alone. He comes back with that creature. Some part of the, that creature was, uh, we read it somewhere. And the other part, we build it ourselves. Because the, the Bugatat is actually a, a, a creature that, a gene that uh, impeach you to, to wake up when you, you know, when you, you're, you're on your bed, it happens to all of us. You're on your bed and you want, you're feeling that you're awake, that you can't move, to use a, a creature that some people know. And the, uh, the other fact is that we, there that wasn't so much wrote about it because in the cultural Arab, there are few stuff that are written or even are drawn because it's a culture based traditionally on the speaking and, you know, on tales and tales that you are saying to your kids. This is why also I believe there is come some kind of a misunderstanding. Someone asked me when I was in, in a festival in Morocco, told me that, but this creature doesn't look like a Moroccan creature. And I was like, hmm, so what's a Moroccan creature? Have you seen it yourself? Do you see it like wearing like uh, traditional uh, uh, wardrobes and stuff like that? So what, what does it mean? You, you, you don't have paintings, you don't have pictures, you don't have anything. So we have to build something for our own to build our culture, uh, pop culture or horror culture, you know, and share it with Morocco and with the rest of the world. One thing that we didn't want, and this was the rule when we were writing the script, is that the movie is going to be mostly set in the dark because we want we wanted to, to be uh, as far as possible from for the postal card that you see when you're thinking of Morocco. Get rid of this image and uh, and to make like a film noir. Most of the sets that we shot uh, inside was were uh, mostly buildings from the 50s, from the colony, that has some kind of a look in the architecture of these buildings. So we tried to make it look like you don't know where it is set, even if you know if it is it is set in Morocco and you don't know when to give uh, the opportunity for the movie to be 
as far as possible from its like cliche that you were waiting for. I would say that horror uh, in general and most of the movies that you remember are always social and uh, political in a way. You know, of course, when you think about Carpenter, but Carpenter was like, it was his, the way he talked about his movies. He didn't hide that it, they, are, they were political movies, but there are a lot of uh, movies that we love all uh, that are actually political, even from director who doesn't feel that they are doing uh, a political movie. Because uh, I'm not saying that we did this with my movie, but the idea is that uh, every movie has to reflect its time. And as soon as the movie has this conscien consciousness, it's going to be political in a way or another. So we're not uh, working in this field, but uh, of course we have a, a consciousness about this. And also because uh, in the myth, genes, bad genes comes from, from parts, bad parts, you know, from, the, from places where there was horror violence. Right now I'm working on two projects. Uh, one of them is going to be uh, a tighter budget horror movie uh, that I wanted to be uh, very psychological uh, and uh, very centered around characters and the horror, but not as visual as uh, Ashura. And the other one is like a more ambitious project. And it's like, uh, I really want to make a movie about uh, a warrior uh, during the 7th century, a female warrior during the Arab warrior in the 7th century. And that has a uh, logical, it's logical today to tell this kind of story because we, lo we talk a lot about women uh, in the Arab society and to show this warrior has a meaning. And I think that it could be a great story to talk. It could take time. But I want, really want to be harsh and like, I'm not going to compare my, myself or our, our job with the, the, that, that movie, but one of my favorite movies of all time is Conan the Barbarian from John Milius. So the, this is the feeling or something close that we want to get because this movie is like so good. <laughs> Yeah, if you're hearing about distribution, especially in Germany, yeah, call us. <laughs> Tell us what you think and maybe, yeah, we, we, I would love, because the hardest part for a director uh, after spending so much time in, for, in, a, in a movie is that the audience doesn't watch it. And the audience is not only the audience from the festival, which is the first audience that you get in touch with, but the rest of the world. So... Uh, I really hope that uh, the movie is going to get distributed and watched by most of the people because in a way it's important to me because this time, the time I spent it on this movie, but it is also important to show that uh, an Arab movie is not only uh, social issues or more local comedies, you know, and to show that it could be something else. But we need these movies, of course, but we also need to show another side of, another aspect of this culture. I've been doing uh, quite a lot of festivals with my two movies and even with one, with one of my shorts. And I'm always happy and pleased to see that genre festival has a special place in the movie industry because there's, it is, you don't have the the fakeness, uh, I, I may say, of of that, like you know, the spotlight, and and the fakeness of some 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 parts, the bad part of the industry that could 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 you share? It's it's really like uh, natural, and the people who makes these movies, uh, and the people who watch these movies, and the people who work around these movies as journalists or or I don't know, in a way or another, are our lover, true lover, and fair with the genre. So this is important, so I'm really happy to be here and, and to see that every country has its kind of people and in a way, even if culturally they're different, they're the same, they, they share the same love for this movie.